بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهدى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاتي ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون First and foremost let me tell you something before Bona and the brothers were in the media side they, before they got upset is he around? He's not hearing, thank God. Ah? Uh, somewhere at the back? La hawla wa la quwwata illa. I'm not in charge of Sakina TV. I am the head or the director of international affairs for whole Sakina five branches. Then that's their side. I don't want to get involved. My Allah bless them all. And as my brother Abu Bakr mentioned, he's absolutely right. I am Malendo. And I told him, and you as a Jew is, is one, is a give and take, it's not a problem. My Allah reward you all. The, this, as we've heard, is the last lecture of the conference. And when I heard this, the last, I felt sad. Even though you've been telling us all these three days, don't be sad. But my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier because this to be the last and after that we're going to go back to our works and studies and our affairs but I hope inshallah we don't forget what we've been taught and also this beautiful environment which you highly find in this world. Three days of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, three days of gathering for Allah's sake subhanahu wa ta'ala, three days of learning for what you, you've been taught from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from his beloved Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. And this last lecture, is about lessons from the battle of Badr. And battle of Badr, as we as we all aware, it was the most important battle in the Islamic history. Why? Because the Muslims, they were a small number. The situation wasn't easy. The Quraysh were very powerful. And they have alliance all over the world. Because the Quraysh, they were very smart. That's why no one used to touch their businesses when in between Yemen and Sham, which, is, which was the Roman side of that time. The Muslims, They were with Yahud, with the Jew in Medina. And the Jew, as usual, they are very crafty. You cannot trust them. And that's how they dealt with the Prophet ﷺ in a lot of situations. Then you can see 
there were also hypocrites in Medina. And hypocrites, as you all are aware, are more dangerous than anything else. Why? Because they are in you. They are within you. They are praying with you on the same line. And if they come for the prayer, they're lazy. You are on a nas. They came there to show that they are here, they are with you, they are on your side. But the reality is something else. The reality is something else. They are evil. And they are with the kuffar, with the disbelievers. And they are trying by any means to get rid of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. That's how Allah SWT described them. And also, وَمِنْهُمْ وَفِيكُمْ سَمَّعُونَ لَهُمْ There are some weak Muslims also who listen to these people. Let's go into the topic, the battle of Badr. And this is one of my favorite subjects because it's about the Prophet and his life. And I'm requesting all of you from this platform that please and please read the seerah of your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as I am aware, there's a lot of malendo sheikhs who has recorded about the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But your Sujuwi sheikhs or Miswahili sheikhs, I don't know how far they record the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But also you can find, insha'Allah wa ta'ala, in English. There are some recordings of Brother Yasir Qadi and other brothers who are very beautiful about the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That it's very important that you read on a regular basis and you read on a regular basis about the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And you should know everything about your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you should have a plan in life. Reading. You have to say, this year, I want to read the seal of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to finish, like Rahiq al Maktoum, one book, and then I go to Shama'il al Muhammadiyya of Imam uh, at Tirmidhi Rahimahullah, and then you go further down to the seerah of Ibn Hisham and Seerah of Ibn Kathir and so on. You always improve about the life of your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you try to learn more and more about him Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Why? Because he's your gate to paradise. You should know about your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ If you love Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala them. If you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follow my way life. Follow my footsteps. Allah will love you subhanahu wa ta'ala and will forgive your sins. What do I want more than that? Better. is the first battle that the Muslims gone into. And some people, they think that the Prophet Wasallam that he used to like to fight, and he used to always think about fighting. No, 
even this bottle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned it that way. But that's not what the Prophet and his companion they came out for. What did they came out for? I'm asking the guys. What did they came out for? To fight? Get the disbelievers? Yes. Yes, for the caravan. Why? Because the Quraysh, they did everything can come into your mind to the Prophet, to, to, to the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they've taken everything from them. They send them to Medina empty-handed. Whoever's going to go to, go to Medina, leave everything behind. Even some of them, they took from them their wives and their children. But Ashab Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they went. You took my wife, you took my children, fine. Keep them with you. And then they went to Medina to get together with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam heard about the caravan of the Quraysh, and who was the leader of the caravan? Abu Sufyan, Ibn Harb. Abu Sufyan, he was very smart. And he was aware what was happening. And then when he get closer to Medina, he changed the direction. He take the, an, another route to Mecca. And also he sent one of, the, one of his soldiers to go to Mecca and tell them Muhammad and his companions are going to get your wealth and your caravans. Then the Quraysh, they get together with all their power. And we will see what was their number. Abu Jahl, he was the leader and he's the one who put the things together. And they came with, they came out with 1,300 men. 1,300. 200 horses. One thousand camels. And what was the number of the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? First, the Prophet Sallam was expecting that the, 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 the people with the caravan, they are about four the, the scholars they said between thirty to fifty. They differ. Some of them they say 35, some of them they say 40, some of them they say 45, and so on. Say between 30 to 40 people. And then he said, alayhi salatu was salam, to the Sahaba, come out quick. Let's go and get, at least you can get back some of your rights and some of your stuff that they, they've taken from you. And then even the Sahaba who used to leave the upper Medina, they were not aware of the situation. That's why he came out only with 313 to 317. The scholars, they differ in that. Between 313 to 317. With two horses, 
with 70 camels. Allahu Akbar. Compare the two groups. 1,300, 313 or 317. Let's get the high number, 317. Two horses, 200 horses. 70 camels, 1,000 camels. They came. They came out to defend the caravan. And the wealth was about a thousand camels and what they and what they carrying. Think about it. They came out to defend. The Sahaba, they found out that Abu Sufyan changed the direction. And they went. And then he sent another information. And he told them, go back. Your caravan is safe. Your caravan is safe. Then what's going to happen to the companion of the Prophet Sallam when they reach Badr? 150 kilometers from there home city 150 kilometers and then he said this is the situation and we lost the caravan and what do you think oh people then he alayhi salatu wassalam the best leader he was not a dictator alayhi salatu wassalam he consult the Sahaba. What do you think? What shall we do? And when the news reached to Abu Jahl and his team, what did they say? 300 went back. But Abu Jahl, may Allah curse him, what did he say? He said, no, 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 no. There's no way back until we reach Badr. And we party there. And we enjoy ourselves. And we drink. And we, our girls, they dance for us because they're carrying everything with them. And for your information, the disbelievers, wherever they are, they are the same. And anytime they are, they are the same. Where we come from, you find them the same thing. Their life is drinking and dancing and womanizing. Nothing else. That's why the advertisement with, with nothing to do with women, the, the advertisement is women. The wheels of the car, like Continental, is the wheel, wheel car company, the tires. And you find in front of tires, a naked woman. What naked woman to do with the tires? It's not makeup. But that's how they sell their business. And those days they were the same. There's no much different. He said, until we do that, we are not going to go back. Until also the, all the Arabs, they hear about us and what, and what, and what we do and then everyone, everyone will be afraid of us. And your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he consulted his Sahaba. Ashiru alayya ayyuhannas. What do you think, oh guys? What do you think, oh gentlemen? And then, who stood up first? Abu Bakr, the man who was with the Prophet in every affair, the man Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
mentioned him in his book. ثاني اثنين إذ هما في الغار إذ يقول لصاحبه لا تحزن Don't be sad. إن الله معنا Allah is with us. Don't be sad. That man, he stood up. He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, go and we'll be behind you. We'll be behind you. Because of the time, I'm going to make it short. And then who stood up next? Umar ibn Khattab. He said the same thing. Go ahead and we will, be, we will be behind you. Who got up said? Al-Miqdad. And he said, Oh Prophet of Allah, we are not going to say how the Bani Israel say to their Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam, اذهب أنت وربك فقاتل إنها هنا قاعد Go you and your Lord and fight We are going to sit here We are not going to say that But we are telling you And we are saying to you Go you and your Lord and fight And we are with you But these three companions Where are they from? With the Melendos. They were Melendos. They were all Muhajirin, right? That's our situation with you and us at the moment. And the Prophet looked at the Ansar and he said, Ashiru alayya ayyuhan nas. And what's the number of the Sahaba? 100, that's the max number the scholars they mention of the Muhajirin. The other 200, and 17, they were from where? From Nairobi? They were from Medina. From the Ansar. And inshallah, you are Ansar as well. And you will support this deen. And you will spread it everywhere, inshallah, wa ta'ala. And then he said, Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh got up. The man which on his death, the Arsh of Rahman shaked. He said, Ya Rasulullah, la'allaka turiduna. Very smart people. He said, you've heard the other companions. You heard the Muhajin, what they said to you. Is this for us? He said, yes. I want to hear from you. And then he stood up. And what did, he say, what, what, what did Saad say? O oh, Messenger of Allah, Allah has sent you to us with the truth. And we followed you. Your commands, and we obeyed you, and you forbid us, and we abstained from it. We have given you our pledges and our oaths that we will stand by you. No matter what the situation is. 
And by Allah, if you go through the oceans, we will be behind you. What does he mean by that? Because you know those Arabs, they were not from Mombasa. The Arabs of Mombasa, they know how to swim. Right? But those Arabs, they don't know. They are Bedouins, they are camel riders, like the Melendos. They are camel riders. That's why he said, if, that means if you ask the impossible, we'll be behind you. Even though we are not swimmers, we don't know how to swim, we, we have no sea around us, if you go through the sea, we'll be behind you. And he added to that, today is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show you that we are real men and we stick by our words by Allah we are very patient when it comes to fighting and very firm when it comes to the wars and sir they were well known to that go ahead We'll do the impossible. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's the face shined alayhi salatu wasalam. Then he said, let us go. When they went to Badr, he said, let's go into this and make our soldiers to stay here. One of the companions Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, is this wahi from Allah that we should stay here? Or it's the, the tactic of the fight? He said it's not wahi, it's not a revelation. But it's a tactic. He said then we should go and block the water and go to the other side of the wells then we have the access to the water and they don't have access to the water Asallam agreed with him alayhi salatu wassalam because we started he was not dictator alayhi salatu wassalam and his companions they were well mannered as well Look the way they ask. If it's a revelation, then we have to follow. If it's the, te te the technique and the technique of the fight, we will advise you to do this. And then, our Prophet ﷺ and his companion, they stayed there overnight. Imagine, This Sahaba is sleeping peacefully. Tomorrow there will be a fight. There will be blood. There will be death. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them that peace and tranquility. Then they slept and they get up in the morning and they got ready. And then Abu Jahl and their women and their dancers and their people, they all came. And then as the style of the Arab fight, Three came out from their side. And three came out from the Sahaba who are from Ansar. And then they said, 
We don't want these guys. We don't know them. We want our boys. And then Hamza and Ali and who was the third Sahabi? Huh? Abu Ubaidah. Was it was it Abu Ubaidah? No. Ibn Jarrah. Abu Ubaidah ibn Harith. Yes. Zakallah Khairan. They came out. Because they know each other. And from this calm, those shayateen, Utbah and uh, they came out. And subhanallah, they fight with their swords. And Ali and Hamza, they killed their opposition straight away. And then Abu Ubaidah and his opposition, they both injured each other. Then Hamza and Ali, they killed the third one. Then they lost that first part of the battle. When they then the real fight started. The two groups went into each other. Think about it. 1,000 on one side and 317 on one side. They are three times double. Like the way now the girls are three times more than us. Right? Guys, do you agree? No? But that's no without, 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 without action. They are three times more than us. Then the battlefield, the fight started. And who is the leader? In this side, Abu Jahl. The, the calm of the Prophet, the, our Prophet is the leader. The Sahaba, they were sleeping. Your Prophet did not sleep all night, raising his hands to his Lord. Oh Allah, fulfill your promise for me. Fulfill your promise for me. In this, this minority people, if they're being killed, you won't be worshipped on this earth. Oh Allah, fulfill your promise for me. Until Abu Bakr felt how Rasulullah was praying and praying and praying. He said, take it easy, O Prophet of Allah. You've done your bit. And Rasulullah came into the battle. When the battle started, and then he said, Allahu Akbar. The support from the angels has came. And on the other side, the friend of Abu Jahl, the shaitan, he flee. And who does shaitan imitate it when, 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 when he was giving the advice? Suraqat ibn Malik, that strong Sahabi. And Abu Jahl find the shaitan is running. Where are you going? He said, I'm going. I see what you, what you cannot see. Because he see the angels. He see, he's seeing the fight. It's getting stronger. And then, Abdurrahman ibn Auf said, the two youngsters, they were on my right and on my left. <laughs> 